long lines spoke about them a thousand times before now <coughs> yes they're a nightmare however they get tangled up they get caught up in brush and bush and all that kind of stuff i know he's barking and that's why i'm ignoring him okay he is trying to get my attention and this is purely he has learned and realized that if he uses his voice somebody is going to go please stop doing that to him that is attention to him that is an interaction he doesn't care if it's a good interaction or a bad interaction okay notice i didn't say positive or negative because in the science data-based studies of dog training positive is to add something to a training environment negative is to take something away from a training environment if you're interested in science-based terminology and science-based training methods google dog training the quadrant okay quite an interesting read however um, quite difficult to understand so I like to talk in a language where clients and customers and people that aren't dog trainers actually understand okay but as dog trainers we need to know what it means anyway by the by so long lines yes they're a complete nightmare I know that however they do still have a purpose and that purpose is to drag along the floor we're providing uh, a presence a physical presence to the dog as it has got free space to roam all right with the ability to either stand on it if the dog ignores us but more importantly we're relying on the friction from the long line to continue keeping the dog in the mindset that it is still tethered in some way to us okay now the problem with that is yes it's a very really good way uh, and it restricts the dog from thinking that it's got free rain and it can just bugger off and see what's at the end of the rainbow yes so but it's still got potentially problems and one of those problems is the dog will rapidly learn when this is on and when this is off so for example when it's on the dog will feel the friction all oh, right i've got my long line on Pfft, no fun today i can't go and see what's in the next field or hang on a minute there's no friction here this feels a lot more easy woohoo gone okay so we have to make a transitional period between on and off where we don't need it anymore now the best way that i've found is to do that gradually okay where as i said we don't want to go oh okay right he's doing really really well on his long line he's not buggering off anymore let's take the long line off woohoo see ya so what i do or what i tell people and teach people and show people is every week or every two weeks cut a foot off of the end of your line all right a meter a foot a meter a, a, an amount doesn't really matter okay so cut an amount off of the end of your long line so over time what we're doing is we're reducing the length we're reducing the friction that the dog is feeling on the floor and we're gradually gradually acclimatizing that dog still with an element of control but the friction is becoming less the line is becoming less and the dog doesn't have the the overall feeling of oh now it's off now i can go okay so top tip is just don't take your long line off straight away do it gradually by cutting a distance okay a foot a meter might be right might be wrong i don't know um off of the end of your long line so that you're gradually climatizing the dog not to be as tethered over time another top tip biothane okay biothane long lines any long line will get in a knot doesn't matter if it's made of bronze silver gold nylon bioth doesn't matter any long line will get in a knot okay by the by that's one of the downsides of using them but these are relatively waterproof yes they do tangle up not so much as a nylon line um, and they keep a lot cleaner and they keep a lot drier so always go for a biothane lead if you're looking to use this as a, a tool to have in your armory uh when you're taking your dog out so biothane don't please don't ask me how to spell it but google will probably know they're a lot, lot better than the nylon or the or the sort of rope off or the sort of rope ones so long lines yes they are a nightmare and yes we all hate them trainers hate them okay 
but they still have a place within the training environment. And that place is to rely on that friction dragging along the floor, okay? And the power to stand on it if the dog is getting a little bit wayward. But more importantly, never just take it off straight away. Reduce the, the, the length of that line over time so the dog isn't learning the difference between it being on and it being off.